the horn of Helm Hammer Hand shall sound in the deep one last time. Today we're gonna play Rohan against Heart Army in BFME 1 Shadow and Flame mod on the beautiful map Faults of Aizen. Let's get it started. I'm curious about the changes they implemented into, into the Rohan faction in BFME 1 and we're gonna take a look into every single one of them. Come together, my friends. We're gonna recruit Mary right after. PowerPoint-wise, we are able to pick up the draft or the heal like in normal BFME 1. We need draft though to give our peasants some weapons to fight with. We are against a good faction, either Gonzo or Rohan. And that's the reason why we're gonna use our peasants to grab those settlements under our control. That's how Mary is looking like. And also farms are looking pretty nice and unique. They are changed. I like this graphics quite a lot. Keep in mind that this game was made in 2004, guys. So, <laughs> I mean, I'm impressed about what is still possible in BFME 1 and why it's still worth to play this game. Trust me, it's worth to play. Trust me on that one, okay? We are able to recruit peasants from these farms and we are also able to make an end mood, but also a windmill, okay? That's pretty unique. I believe that's our second um, production uh, resource building for Rohan because keep in mind, that in BFME 1, Rohan was the only faction which had only one resource building, only the farms, while Gondo had blacksmith farm and Isengarden more that they have furnaces and slaughterhouses. Okay, now we're gonna save for the stable, but we can actually make one more farm. The farms are gonna give us the uh, food bonus or crop bonus in this case, that's gonna make our calf units cheaper. In this case, Rohirrim are gonna be cheaper. And the windmill is gonna give us the bread bonus which is gonna make our infantry units cheaper. So if you wanna make, for example, archers or peasants, the windmill is your building. We're gonna now save for the stable. Uh, 600, just like in BFME 1, nothing has changed about the prices. 300 for the archer range, the farms, they cost 350, like we are used to. And we're gonna build up the stable. The windmill is looking pretty nice too, look at this design. Gives you the same money, pretty much. Costs the same resources too. We'll we and we can now use our Hobbit and Peasants yeah. to creep this four player right after. Okay, so three farms inside, one farm outside. That means we have in total four farms. That's gonna give us also a 20% discount for the Rohirrim later on. And also Mary has abilities here, by the way. You have the ability to switch between Sword and Rock. You have the ability for the Elven Cloak. And also you have the Esquire of Rohan. Mary is emboldened. In the presence of the lady, Mary gains 100% damage while near Eowyn. That's pretty nice. Stable. For the Rohirrim warriors, we are also able to recruit Rohirrim archers from the stable level 1. And once your stable is level 3, you are able to use the uh, recruit the royal vanguard. We're gonna take a look into that. Trust me on that one, okay? So let's actually creep this one as soon as possible to get some more money. We can also build a well for the sustain. And one more farm. Uh, ideally, you wanna lure them out one by one. This is gonna make the creeping much, much easier. They're gonna come both at the same time. It's gonna be hard. I'm trying to lure one of them. Now you can come. Come, 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 come. <laughs> okay, now we can turn and fight. And the second one is still busy. This means we can just focus on the first guy. And by the time the second guy is coming, the second work is coming, not a guy, of course. Oh, we have a Gondor opening, guys. Let's use our Rohirrim. The pictures are looking different, too. The stable is looking like this. Look at the stable design, though. That's pretty, that's pretty dope, right? Uh-oh. Why are you face thanking him? Oh, cloak. Okay. Let's go for a trample here. We have no heal and no sustain right now for our Rohirrim, but he has no pikemen. Go for another trample. I want to get the money. Get the money and get out. Get the money and get out. We are getting slowed down. And they have also the ability to for, for the Forge Blades, Heavy Armor, the Horseman Shields, the Banner, and also the for Death and Glory. Gains 25% movement speed and 10% HP. We have to close the gate and hope, and hope for the best. <laughs> for the heroes, we have no Aragorn, no Legolas, and no Gimli, as you can see and tell. Let's make a Rohirrim match. One of them was able to enter, but it's not a big deal. We can kill them with the Rohirrim. We can also make a post on gate and recruit Theodred first. Because we know already Theodin, right? Theodred is the son of uh, Theodin. We were able to see him for a very short time in the movies as he got killed by the Urukai. 
And then Theoden was quite upset. He, he used to be the son for, from Theoden, that means he would be the he would become the king after Theoden's death, but after Theoden got killed from the Witch King of Engma, it was actually Eomir who became the king. Those are Rohirrim arches, they are looking like this. You have also the Wedge Formation, same with the normal horses to make them deal more damage, but make them also more squishy. You have Mount with Theodrid. Let's take a look into this hero and his abilities first. Uh, he looks like this. Pretty nice. The, text the textures are actually amazing. I'm happy about this. Right out and meet them. For death and glory? No, 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 no. For Rohan, for our people. Okay, they are level 2 now. We can use this for death and glory. Nice. So we are able to deal with them. No big deal. Now we can also recruit, uh, I mean, I want to go for the heroes first before upgrades. We're going to get Theoden on the field next. We have also Haldir in the Zitter. But once again, we have no, um, we have no, Ga not Gandalf, of course. We have no, uh, say it, Aragorn, Legolas, and Gimli. Micro. What is this? What is, the, what is this kind of unit from Gondor? I want to take also a look into the Gondor. Gondor Spearman. New unit. I like that. Theoden King will rise. Let's get him mounted. Yes, the King of Rohan leadership. 50% damage. 100% combat experience. Once he's level 1. Yes, the Oaths for Oaths fulfilled. For the experience on the units. We have also the Glorious Judge. Uh, which is a bit... Pretty much the same actually. And you have also Rally to Me. Theoden calls two battalions of Royal Guard. So once he's level 7, you are also able to summon reinforcements. Now we're gonna save for Eomir next. The price is pretty much the same. And you have also Radagast the Brown. What is this? Uh, recruit, one of the wandering history, Radagast the Brown. A worthy wizard, a master of sh shapes and charges. And change it of hue. He has much more lore. Of, I can't even... Because those are really complicated words. I'm not a native speaker, as you might have noticed. <laughs> so I know only basic English, you know what I'm saying? So excuse me for that one. Alright, we have Strospear. We have also the Third Marshal of the Mark, which is a leadership for the Norway Cavalry Units. 50% more damage and 25% minus 25% more Trample Declaration. So now we have three heroes. But I want to see the design first. So this is Elmia and this is Theodin. We can also use the uh, Ground View. Which is looking like this, so we can see the horses. Look at this design. We can also use the unit view. Look Theodin's textures, guys. Look Eomia's textures. That looks dope, am I right? Let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this graphics, about the mod Shadow and Flame. Uh oh, this guy's trying to kill our farm. Right out and meet them. Eowyn next, Haldir then afterwards, and then we can actually start making some more units, like archers or something like that. And get also upgrades on our units. To make them stronger eventually. As long as he has no calf, we are fine. Go here matches, we can give them the number 2. Uh, the trample doesn't deal too much damage to these units. Normally you would be able to one-shot them with Theodin and Eomir leadership, but I feel like they are a bit more tanky. Rangers on the field, I see you. The farm is gonna be eventually taken down. Eowyn is on the field. The shields made enough Rohan. You have smite. Powerful melee attack. So it's not a throw. It's a melee attack. Oh, we have to peel back. He has way, way more units than we do. We can trample them down once again. And we should be fine and good to go. Okay, gets mounted with Eowyn. The smite is a powerful melee attack. Eowyn deals massively increased damage to the Witch King. And I think only to the Witch King in normal BFME, she is able to deal massive damage to anything and also to Nazgûl, for example. And we are only missing Haldir. We can now try to get the stable to level 3. That's going to give us the chance to recruit some of the Royal Vanguards. I want to see them as well. From the farms, we are only able to recruit some peasants. We don't need them. We can now ride out and meet them once again. You can use the sword, Mary, Poppins, and you can try to take down this farm eventually at some point. Haldir is able to fight with sword and bow. You have to quit, quick draw. And Haldir temporarily gains 25% increased attack speed. You have also the March Warden of the Golden Wood. Haldir and Norby Galadrim gain 25% damage and 15% movement speed. Heavy Raiment of the Golden Wood. Oh, wait a second, we are getting attacked. We need to defend this one. So let's also group with Eowyn. Oh, there are some pikemen. We need to kill them first. 
And you have also uh, Haldir don't his armor and gains 10% 10, 10 armor. It's a passive thing. Oh, 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 oh okay. You are the boss. You are the boss. You are the boss. Flaming arrow volley. Archers fire a series of flaming arrow volleys. Deals 50% increased damage to structures, but we are forced to peel back now. Mary from the Shire has been taken down. Look at this army, dude. Let's make a tower. I mean, I'm just explaining a bit more because this would not be even close. I would smash this heart army normally. You know me, guys. I'm able to beat seven of them at the same time. Can one of them even touch me? But I'm actually investing so much time into reading anything. Everything. Vigilance reveals a small portion of the map. And last but not least, we have also the Elven skill. Grants experience to non-Elven archers within a radius. Non-Elven archers, okay? And yeah, the stable is going to be level 2 very soon. We have also 300 command points available. So more than in um, normal BFME 1 in which we have only 200. So we can now potentially demolish one of the farms and try to go for the armory next or archers. Call for 8. Calls open to battalions of Gondor soldiers and Gonzo. Oh, where was Gondor when Forts of Eisenfeld? You can't say that anymore, right? <laughs> Theodine King stands alone, not alone. Okay, so uh, we can, you know what we can do? We can put Haldir on top of the wall with the, you know, bow, so we can start shooting at them. Men of Rohan. So let's, these are our Rohirrim Arches. I was recruiting them and hoping that we could be getting our stable to level 3 faster, but I was wrong. Okay, let's ride out and meet them. We have zero farms outside. And look at this army, ladies and gentlemen. It's our big army there, but our opponent has. Let's avoid fighting them a bit. We can now summon the Elven Alliance. Let's do this first. What? The fate of the Riddle Mark lies in our hands. Ah, it's a passive thing. Now we are able to recruit Elven Galadrim warriors from the archery range, but after we buy this one, it's only possible. I see you. Heavy armor, pretty much the same, 1000. Aldir is doing a nice job. Let's use this one for more attack speed. He looks like this. Men of Rohan. We have to kill these uh, Spearman units. We can't fight them. I mean, we can, we could potentially fight them with the Ohira Marches, right? That's a possibility we have. This is a hero. Yes, it's a hero. What is this? Baragond. Okay, let's kill Baragond first. We get some more experience on our heroes. There we go. We need also some more power points. I'm actually kind of sad that you are not able to recruit Aragorn, Gimli, and Legolas from the Zitter. So we gotta save now for the power points. I think the oh there is three hunters. Calls the three hunters, Legolas, Aragorn, and Gimli. Okay, I take it back. It's a special summon in this case, in this uh, mod Shadow and Flame for BFME 1. Okay, so let's actually fight them. Uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna kill with the Rohirrim Arches the Spearmen, and the other units can go for a trample against the normal units. I think that's a great plan. We have many, many Rohirrim Arches on the field. This should not make it very hard. Another hero? Oh, but Haldir was able to take care of the captain of Gondor Boromir himself. Sorry, Boromir, but this time it's not for Gondor, but it's for Rohan, for our people. Go for a trample. No pikemen, no problem. Just trample them down to death. To down to death. They're also getting levels here. Uh, Lord of Exile. So we get money for killing enemy stuff. Enemy units. It's called Outlaw Leadership in BFME 1 Normal. Glorious Charge, you need to be level 4 for that, we already know that. Let's peel back a bit and heal up our time. You can also, in a situation like this, what I'd like to do the most is, I want to buy all the upgrades first from the Armory, before upgrading anything. What is this guy doing there? Run, 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 run. Please, can you get away? This guy is like a one-man army, he was fighting solo for, no, for whatever reason. And the ban upgrade is more expensive. Normally it costs you 600 in BFME 1, in this case it's gonna cost us 800. So we have to kill back a bit, heal up over time. <clears throat> then we can buy upgrades on our units and ride out and meet them once again. The are Actually this Haldir has crazy range. Right, he's able to shoot from the wall this farm. I don't know if this is normally possible or not. Okay, we have the have things, see it? Heavy armor and forge plates, we're gonna wait for the banner, and then we are good to go. This farm is gonna be unfortunately taken down, so demolish that. If you know you can't protect that, this way you can get some money back at least. And yeah, I like this design. The farms are looking great, the Zeta is doing looking great, the textures for the heroes is looking great as well. Overall, a great map, a great mod, I would say.
And we still have to take a look into Gondor, Mordor and Isengard. So if you want to see that guys, please let me know in the comment section down below. We have a stable archer range. What is this? Oh, there is a barracks also for the Rohan faction. So you have actually more infantry units than you normally do. You have even spearmen as Rohan, which you don't normally have. But let's go for this one first. Okay, so we can now buy heavy armor on our first Rohirrim. On the melee Rohirrim unit and forge plates. And the other one, we, we need to wait because we don't have that much money right now. So we need to ride out and actually fight for the map control a bit more. Okay, let's go for a trample. You can kill these units here. They're leveling up like crazy. Our Rohirrim marks are taking care of the spike of the spike man, no big deal. Kill back a bit. Let's go for another trample. Alright. Alright, we are doing nice actually. Fight for the map control once again. You can kill these units, get more experience. Now we are able to recruit Elvin Warriors, I want to take a look into them, and also Yeoman Archers, like we know, we need to get Elvin Fletching. So, you have no fire upgrade in this case here, right? No, you don't have it. He already is level 5 now, that's pretty nice. End mood is gonna still cost us 5000. He has also Gondor Knights on the field, but they're gonna be weak against our Rohirrim Archers, we have so many of them. Now we're gonna be finally getting the chance to fight back for the map control. Let's recruit more Elven Warriors, because what we're gonna do now is we're gonna buy this outpost and put them inside the outpost, this way we have more protection, you know? And we have to now start fighting for the map control. Okay, outpost pretty much the same price, 600. Okay, now we can build a statue behind for the extra leadership part. Oh, but we have to peel back, because... I mean, Haldir is doing a nice job. Like, he's level 5 already. I mean, the tower is also helping, of course. Oh, you, you gotta kill the pikemen. Archer range is level 2 now. That's gonna give us the chance to get the Elven Fletching. That's gonna make our units deal more damage. Oh, there is some other hero. Who's this? Prince Imrahil. Okay. Kill back. Can we kill him, though? And with the help of Haldir, it's possible, I guess. He's not very tanky. We have 6 power points collected now, we have, on, we have the chance of Cloud Break, but I'm gonna definitely save for the 3 Hunters. I think that's a better choice. Let's buy this one now. And now we can put the Archers inside this. Oh, it's not possible. It's not possible in this one. Unlike in BFME 1 on the patch 1.06. Elven Warriors are also looking different. Look at this picture and look at their design. Do you see that, guys? They are looking pretty dope. More realistic, because elves, they are used to have not that much armor, they are more like a, like a, say it, more light units, you know what I'm saying? And we have also the chance to build up a tower for Rohan, which is normally not the case in BFME 1. Let's build up a tower for the more defense and also a well for the sustain. Okay, so once this is purchased, we can now demolish this building. That's gonna give us the chance to also buy... Elven Fletching on our units. Oh, we are getting attacked. Defend, defend, defend. Elven Warriors. We are also able to give them... I mean, they are pretty much like the Elven Warriors we are we know from BFME 1. You are able to fight with sword and bow. But you have also the Elven Mastery. You get 50% increased range and 25% increased attack speed once you are level 2. I guess that makes sense why the, build, why the levels upgrades now is so more expensive from the Armory. Because every unit pretty much is getting something um, from the level 2, you know? So what we can do now potentially is we can take a look into the Rohan garrison and also try to get our armory to level 3. Okay, now ride out and meet them. Let's send them back to the well, this way they can sustain. And I, I love the fact that you have now more command points available, this way you can actually make just more units overall. Let's see the Elven Fletching damage. Garrison is looking like this. It's gonna be uh, like, a, like a Rohan Barracks pretty much. Let's see the damage output. Oh, it's a different damage. It's like a Silvertone Arrow upgrade pretty much. I like that. But I, be I believe the damage against buildings is not gonna be that great. And we have now enough power points. They're also not dying quite fast still. So. We gotta kill the pikemen first before we can go for a charge, but what we can do is we can we can call for death and glory. 
Okay, now we are talking. More damage, and now we can go for a trample into the backline. So way more heroes, more unit possibilities. Overall, I would say a great mod. Then you wanna play with more available units, like every faction has now also Spearman units, for example. In this case, those Yeoman Spearman units are great against Calf and heroes, and you are also able to recruit Edoras Kingguard. I wanna see that. I wanna actually see that one. But first of all, let's buy upgrades on every single one of these units. You have to get this manually to level 2. Unlike in BFME 2 or Rise of the Witch King, you are not able to buy yourself the level 2 upgrade on the building. You have to recruit units if you want to be able to do that. Kill back a bit. There are pikemen we need to kill first. I mean, these units are actually dealing a lot, a lot of damage. I like that. Uh, we have one more Rohirrim Archer. We need one more to be able to recruit some Royal Guards. Okay, let's give them only... The damage for now. These are the Spearmen of Rohan, by the way, guys. The Yeoman Spearman Battalion. We're gonna take a look into them very soon. Okay, let's peel back a bit. They have also enough power points now for the for the 300 summon. That means Legolas and Gimli and Aragorn are gonna be summoned very soon. This is the design of them. They are also not looking everyone the same. We have some of them have helmet, some of them don't. They're also able to change to the block formation to make them in the porcupine formation, pretty much. And once they are level 2 for Lord and Land, they will get more movement speed and more HP. They're gonna become more tanky pretty much. Okay? So, we need to recruit many of them to be able to get to building to level 2. Now our building is level 3. That's great. Okay. So, let's peel back a bit. You know, when I like when I play Rohan, I like to make this um, mobility units. Like Rohirrim Arches, Rohirrim. Because I believe that's the power and strength of Rohan faction, you know? That you have everything as a mobile unit. Archers and also swordsmen. In this case, Rohirrim and Rohirrim archers. But now you have even a third calf, which is going to be called the Royal Guard. And you are only able to get three of these units on the field at the same time. From a level 3 stable. So it's going to take you some time to be able to recruit them. There's also rangers. You feel a bit more tanky overall. Normally, with this much leadership, they would be dying much, much, much faster. Okay, this guy has luck of battle, uh, but he needs to be level 7 for that. I mean, it's kind of ironic, you know, that he has something called luck of battle because he got killed. <laughs> Alright, now we are able to recruit some of the Edoras. What is this? Required level 3 bar- Oh, level 3 barracks, not level 2. Oh my goodness. So we have to sacrifice some of the units, guys. We won't have that much room left. And those are, ladies and gentlemen, Royal One Guards Battalion. The elite calf units from Rohan faction. They are looking like this. You are not able to buy any upgrades but banner. To the king, leadership bonuses. To the king guards, troops while near king. And you have also the offband uh, Royal Guards become immune to fear with level 2. A level 2 is a massive power spike for every single faction in this game, and I like that. I really like that. I'm expecting them to be way, way stronger. They've also level 9 Rohirrim here. Aldir is doing a nice job. Uh, the only hero missing is Raragast the Brown. And I believe every faction now in the game has like a, like a specialty, you know? Uh, you don't have many more summons, but once you get to the point in which you unlock 10 power points from the spellbook of every of any faction, you will get the chance to recruit a very strong hero. Like, for example, with the Gundabad faction, it was uh, Durin's Bane, the Balrog himself. There is Farami on the field, also looks different. Every icon is different, the pictures are different, I like that. But once again, we have to sacrifice many, many units. Uh, we have also units around this side, sacrifice them all now. And now we can rotate with the army to the bottom side, because we don't have that much space left anymore to be able to recruit way more units. Okay, so let's... Oh, there he is. This guy is generous. He was leaving money on the ground for us. I take it. I take it. We are also able to... I mean, pretty much the same. Tower, the banner, and then also the postern gate. So nothing changed about the base's design. You have... Still only 7 spots in the Rohan base. Let's kill this. There is a stonework and marketplace. Um, we are able to call for it. And also we have the statue of Helm, Helm Hammer Hand. Helm Hammer Hand. Shall sound in the deep one last time. So it's like a it's like a statue you can summon on the battlefield. We have also Cloudbreak. 
And then last but not least, the brown wizard. I think that's what we're gonna save for first, you know? That's the plan. And we also have to make some ends eventually at some point to be able to break through the gate of the Gondor faction. Okay? But the good thing about Rohan is you don't need to send the ends from downtown from your base to the opponent base. You can literally summon ends around this area and start sieging way, way easier this way. Okay? This way, yeoman. This way, yeoman. So they have the same, you know, voiceover or voice effects like the Yeoman Arches pretty much. We need even more than that. It's really hard to get your building to level 3. Okay. So we can now build a tower here for the defense, a statue in the front, and a well in the back. So we don't have to go back to the base all the time to sustain over time, you know? So we have much more sustain in the entire map. We can go to the top side, put a sustain with the well, we can go to the bottom side. And we can also, in the worst case, go to our own base. That's the plan. Okay, I mean, they are quite tanky, I gotta be honest. And we have not that much damage leadership here. 100% combat experience is not as powerful as 50% armor, because normally Theodian gives you 50-50 damage and armor. We have Aomer leadership, he is now thirsty for Goofman, 50% damage and armor. And we have also, last but not least, the Stand Your Ground. Aomi and Norby troops gain 100% armor and 25% HP. That's pretty nice. We have Shield Maiden of Rohan. And Theoden has also the Rally to me. We might see that later on. I like that. That's many, many heroes now have a scaling ability, pretty much. I think now is the time to use the Death and Glory. Oh, my friends, go and do it for death and glory, ladies and gentlemen. He's building towers. He thinks towers are gonna save him. Look how many barracks and archer ranges he has in the base. <laughs> this is crazy. Okay, I see you. Oh, we are able to buy also Rohirrim shields on them. Okay. Alright, let's buy all the upgrades now. We have money. We have also almost full map control. Uh, is this level 3 already? It's still not level 3, I cannot believe it. Look at this damage though, pretty nice damage. It's a level 3 building at the end of the day. And we need only 3 more power points for the Radagas. And we have to take a look into the, into Radagas, right? Before we're gonna finish off this game. So let's buy all the farms first, this way we have enough money for everything that we need. Remember the end mood is gonna cost us 5000, so it's not very cheap. But we also need to take a look into the Edoras King's God. Let's cut his eco by destroying all the farms outside because he was now investing so much money into the battle towers. So he won't have that much money left anymore. Ready else? Let's see them also in action maybe. Okay. So we have all the heroes besides Mary. We can also revive Mary. He's just, you know, so he can also watch what's happening. We, can, we need one more unit. It takes a lot of time to be able to get the buildings to level 3. Mary Poppins is back in the business and also move forward. You wanna fight? I'm not sure about this, my friend. Okay, so we need to get some more power points eventually, right? So we need to make, we need to let them to make more units. We can also summon the three hunters now and put, go, go inside. Oh, he's closing the gates. Oh, you have also the arrow volley here. Aragorn has no. He has no. Uh, say it. Offbreaker summon. You, you are not able to summon army of the dead. Master of swordsmen. Master swordsman. Pretty much bleed master. Gimli. Does he have leap attack or something? Yes, hunter. When near uh, Aragorn or Legolas, he's, he's gonna have more damage and speed. You have also neutral sprinter. Make him run fast. And then last but not least, Kazada Menu. That's gonna make him like deal more damage. It's like a slayer ability pretty much, right? But there is nothing to kill because he has he is camping inside the base pretty much with everything that he got. I'm kinda sad that you have no leap attack. Because with Gimli's leap attack, if you don't know, you can actually jump over the wall. <laughs> so we could actually use Gimli to jump on top of the wall and then get inside the base way, way easier. Okay, so you know what? We need to now go for the end mood. Because that's the only possible way we can, we can break the gate. We have now enough money also for the any. Uh, we have finally level 3. He's using Claw Break. But I'm fine with that. End mood now. 
This way we can go for the siege. We need only one and a half power points more. We lost all our units because they are face tanking the heroes, but they are not permanent anyway. You can see the time remaining is going down. It's a summon from the spellbook, of course. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, those are the Edoras Kingsguard. Look at them. They look like this. You have also a shield wall formation that's going to make them look like this. A very tiny battalion. Great design with heavy armor. And you have also to the king. Leadership bonus to King's Guards troops while near King Theoden. Theoden is going to be the king, of course. They are looking like this. I like this design. We can also join them, which is why not. Okay, end mode is coming up. Uh, we're going to lose this farm, but I'm fine with that. Okay, now we can go for a siege. We can also recruit the tree beard himself. He's also looking different. Let's see how different he is going to be. Let's break the gate first. It's going to cost him some time to repair the gate. He can kill these units, maybe. Let's see the end damage. Pretty much what we are used to. See, from BFMU1 on the patch 1.06. Decent amount of damage. Tribeard is going to be the daddy of the Fangorn Forest. He's going to join the battlefield very, very soon. The gate is broken. Let's break the towers too. This way we can get inside the jeans and finish him off. But before that, we want to definitely take a look into the into the Radagast the Brown too. Maybe I'm going to play like against two hard armies or three hard armies at some point. This way we can get maybe some more power points collected faster. Please break the wall. Tribeard is going to be joining the battlefields now. Look at Tribeard, guys. Different picture. The leadership is also looking different. We have also, I mean, pretty much the same beside this. Leadership is going to give them armor and range and speed. The ends, they are also going to cost us 1,500 each. Uh, okay, three beards, please throw rocks here. You need to manually click it. He won't have the rocks from the beginning. Look his range, guys. Do you see that? From downtown. This is crazy range. Look the range now. I'm, I'm curious. Come on. I mean, oh, they are gone now, right? They're gone now, right? Look at the range. That's crazy. I believe he's going to outrange every single every single other unit in the game. Easily. Uh-oh. Don't take, don't take too much damage, Eomir. I don't want to lose you, my friend. Okay. Uh, we are getting there. We are getting there. Very close. We might get the power points now we need. I mean, also the three hunters have a really low cooldown. For the fact that you are able to summon... Aragorn, Gimli, and Degola side by side. All of a sudden, and they are all level 10, by the way. Okay, now we have finally the brown wizard. Now we have the chance to recruit also Radagask from the Zitzer. He's going to be also, I think, level 10 if he's coming out. Like uh, like uh, the Balrog was. I'm not sure. We will see. We can also join this guy. We are losing a couple of units, but it's fine, I guess. Let's get this farm back under our control. Okay, so uh, what else? We have the statue, we claw break. We can go for the heal now if you want to, if you need to. The heal is pretty much, you know, the heal from BFMU1. So let's actually kill him. Kill this hero. Let's use Glorious Charge. Death! And that's Faramir right there. Faramir, it's not your time to show your quality, brother. Oh, there is more calf coming, but we should be fine. Go for a trample. Get everything. Okay. I mean, he's level 7 now. We can, we can actually peel back a bit. Uh, because we want to wait for Radagast. And here he comes, guys. Radagast the Brown. Gandalf's dude, Gandalf's buddy. One of the Mayas sent to the Middle Earth to protect or to guide the humans. But he was not as effective as Gandalf. He was doing his own thing with the animals and trees. He was just chilling around. Looks like this is a brand new unit or hero they added to the scheme. Uh, a very great wizard. Derby units gain attack damage uh, and also experience. 50% damage and 150% experience. And you have the wizard blast. Uh, Sufan Witchcraft. Radagas constantly, continuously heals nervy friendly heroes and units. And then you have also summon the Lord of the Eagles. Alright, let's do this. Oh boy. <laughs> we have the Lord of the Eagles now on the field, guys. Let's go. Nice. And you're also able to get mounted with Radagas the Brown. 
But of course, that's not like Gandalf Shadow Fax. That's gonna be a brown horse, which of course suits him better because he's a brown wizard at the end of the day. Looks great. Okay. Now we have seen pretty much everything. I think every unit we have seen beside the Yeoman Arches, but I didn't want to get them on the field since we already know how they look like. Every new unit was seen, every new hero was seen. Or the eagle is yeah, I mean. Too many, too many archers, and what can Eagle do against that? Okay, so, uh, three bit is gonna eventually die, but it's fine. I wanna see this ability now, because it's unlocked. That's from uh, Theodred. So Theodred, please move your horse around this side. We can now scroll down a bit, and... Yeah, here's the luck of battle. Uh, what? Theodred equips his helmet, so he has already a helmet. Today is not the day I die. Today is not the day I die. And you know what I like to say about this situation? Are you sure about Are that? Are you sure about that? Because you literally died, brother, in the in the films. By a couple of Urukai. Determination is gonna be his heal, but it looks like in the films he was not level 9 yet. Otherwise he would be able to heal himself. Anyways. Now we're gonna go for an attack, okay? We're gonna go for an attack now, we can make more ends, we have so much money now, we have ma map control, we have everything what we need to be victorious. We can of course summon also the uh, three hunters. Okay, let's go ham. Do we have glorious charge available? The answer is yes. Rally to me. Talking about rally to me, he can use rally to me now. For summon even more units next to his side. Nice. So we have even more units now. Can he also summon something? The answer is no, I guess. No. But he can use this. Radagas is popping off too. Power points are rising to the sky now with enough power points. Guys, Rohan is asking. Rohan calls for aid and Gondo will answer. Gondo is sending a couple of clap units to Rohan's side. <laughs> I mean, we are losing. We are taking so much damage. Radagas, come on, Radagas. Do we have heal? Yes, we have heal. Alright. Mary Poppins! No, Mary! Look at this the camper. Oh, it's fine. I don't even take a look. We have so much damage power now. We should be fine at the first. We should, we should be fine. Aragorn can also use Blade Master. Legolas can use the Arrow Volley. And Gimli, my friend, you can also use the Khazad. A menu. Looks, uh, you know, pretty much reads like, looks like Gimli is back on the menu, boys. <laughs> Okay, we have also now Cloud Break. Let's use Cloud Break. Aragorn is taking way too much damage, but it's fine. He can use Atelas too. It's called King's Foil here. Cloud Break to stun the enemy units. Legolas looking great. Aragorn looking great. And Gimli is even looking great. And the last power point from the spellbook is also unlocked. That's the Statue of Helm Hammer Hand. You can summon it right here. It's a building I believe you are able to summon, yes. And around this building, in an area like this, you are able to deal... Uh, you have more armor, pretty much. And enemy leadership is also negated. So you have not enough more damage, but you have more armor instead. Okay, we can summon more units. More ends, and we can we can say, pretty much, the ends are going to war in this one, okay? <laughs> Kill this, please. I wanna see this now, move to fire. Do it. Do it. Oh, it's gone already. Radagast the Brown, please don't take don't take too much damage. Don't tank too much damage, my bad. Can't even talk. With this upgrade, you are not dealing too much damage to buildings. But you have the chance to use it's like a it's like a it's like an ability you can use from time to time. You need to be level two for that. The flaming arrow volley. This cooldown. So you use it. You have the chance to attack with flaming shots for the next couple of seconds, and if you don't, it's gonna go on cooldown, and you will get the chance to attack always with the Elven Fletching upgrade, which deals way less damage to enemy buildings. No, 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 no. Don't use Glorious Charge. We can use Rally to me, and then use Glorious Charge right after. Oh, Theodred! I'm telling you, Theodred. I was, I was asking you. Are you sure about that? And you said yes. I'm sure about that. Never be sure. Radegas the Brown is gonna heal them up, you know, with his passive, which is called Siphon Witchcraft. 
and we are gonna be victorious guys i hope you enjoyed this one if you let me let me know in the comment section down below what faction you want to see next gondor isengard or mordor we have seen gundabad last time Ohan this time and you decide what is gonna be happening next time and as always if you enjoyed this one please don't forget to leave a like guys to leave a like on this video likes are helping out quite a lot for the youtube algorithm i would like to see you also in my next live stream twitch tv slash beyond standards the link is in the description down below Take care of yourselves, have a fantastic evening, day, afternoon, whenever you are watching this video. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace.